Hello, I'm Hema. Welcome to Date with CSA. As you all know, I'm the founder of CSA Smart Group and also founder of Royal Amour, where we help needy women and poor students to lead a financially independent life by making handmade jewelry. Today, in the date of CSA, uh, what we are going to look into, like, if some patients come with losing somebody or uh, from a um, very bad event like recent bereavement or being raped. It is very difficult scenario, isn't it? We will be wondering like how we will we have to respond to them. And if you're not prepared for this very sensitive issue, we will be we'll be in a very awkward position. We don't know what to say or how to uh, show our uh, support to them. Uh, you might think, is there any right or wrong thing to say when we come across patients like that? Uh, the first and foremost is to show lots and lots of empathy. Empathy means like we don't need to say like I can understand how you feel. Uh, it is it is something like we keeping we putting ourselves in their shoes and acknowledge how difficult. The situation is it for them uh, as I said there is a right or wrong way let's go through the wrong way first because sometimes we will say like um, you know if anybody come with recent um, miscarriage we might say like you're wrong you can have another soon uh, I have come across those situations when I did my obs and gynae it is very difficult uh, some might say like it was just God's will or we, some might say like at least you have got other kids and um, some might say like be grateful you had so far or you have the, you had them so long then the worst thing is like to say I know how you feel exactly we don't know till we have a miscarriage or we lose somebody we don't exactly we don't know exactly how, what feelings they are going through um, so they might react like no doctor you don't know because have you ever lost somebody you know they may react like that so it's very important not to use all these um, wrong things now let's see what is what are the nicer way nicer things to say like I, I always use like my heart goes out to you uh, do you have anyone to talk to have you got the support network uh, then so, sometimes I might say like grief is a normal natural reaction to your loss you know I will use my body language and tone I will lower my tone and um, my facial reactions everything like I will tone down a bit then I would say like you're not alone particularly when patients are being diagnosed with cancers recently uh, I would always say like you're not alone we can go through this you have got a support network here we have got you know specialized nurse and we GPs here we can go through this I would I would say like that um, then if something which I can't imagine then I will simply say like really I can't imagine how how you feel now you know I would I would admit that that is very sincere response from us isn't it rather than saying I can understand how you feel that's not appropriate then we can say like what can I do to support you simple simple like that um, so few things what we might say like acknowledge the laws acknowledge that whatever they are feeling is normal grief reaction and sometimes just listening to them will make them feel better we don't need to say anything uh, dramatic and then the second thing is we don't need to try and fix it we are just helping them to go through that difficult situation difficult time so just listening will allow them to heal themselves and we have to encourage and give hope and we have to care for them so for all situations we can see the better future even we come across like palliative cancer patient we still be very you know uh, forthcoming and be 
supportive and encouraging we have to give hope like um, there are so many options to keep you comfortable uh, to spend your time with your family and friend in a comfortable atmosphere we can give lots of hope particularly as a gp we do come across so many patients like this like patients who has had recent miscarriage or patients who have lost their uh, dear ones recently or patients who have been diagnosed with cancer recently uh, so there are so many variety of cases we will come across and in csa scenario it is one of the very very difficult scene because you know as doctors we'll have a list to cover we might be thinking like we oh, have to ask uh, ideas concerns expectations i have to ask about the psychosocial blah 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 but all those lists won't help us in this scenario we have to be very sensitive we have to be very empathetic and we should be very careful about how we are using our voice how we are using our body language and we have to be very selective which words we are using and it's very important to give some time some pause you know to allow them to grieve particularly when a patient said that you know she had been raped recently it's very important to use the silence to to allow her to express her grief and then we can say something like i'm really sorry one of my colleagues said that he used like i'm really sorry i think i have brought back the difficult memories something like that you know just pause and give enough time be a human be a human and don't think that they are simulators please please think that they are the real patients and we don't need to act we have to be just like a human to another human and that's what they are marking so uh, and we will do anyway like that in our real life but with the exam tension and everything with the 10 minutes the time are going on you know everything we will panic we all you all humans as well isn't it so try to practice as many scenarios as possible using this and please you know practice all these sentences like what can i do to support you i can't imagine how you feel uh, do you have anyone to talk to you know something like that just get practiced and uh, be prepared and then absolutely you will be fine and uh, uh, good luck if you're having uh, your exams in the next few weeks and uh, you know i have got um, whole scenarios uh, called difficult communications made easy e course it's e course you can you can go through those uh, modules at the comfort of your own home uh, i talk about like difficult patients angry patients demanding patients uh, patients with um, unrealistic expectations i go through all those scenarios and i have given exact scripts what to say how to handle them uh, how to um, use our body language and how to use magic words to you know bring bring them to the positive uh, end so these are all uh, will help you to prepare for the difficult scenarios if you are if you if you think you need more support uh, please feel free uh, to email to csasmartgroup@gmail.com i'm um, I'm, I'm more than happy to support and um, help you to prepare yourself. And uh, that's all for today's date with CSA. I will see you soon with some more CSA success tips. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>